There we are, and we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning from the Philippines. And here with us today is our future UFC Trump, Philippine American Mark Striegel. Hi, Mark. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for having me. Hi from uh, Las Vegas. All right. And this live from Fights and Highlights and brought to you by WCCS Philippines. So, hi, Mark. How's training? How have you been? Everything's good. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, uh, I got COVID in my last, uh, my last fight, on the week of my last fight. Mm -hmm. But uh, thankfully, um, I was able to beat the illness, the virus, in about 10 days' time. So I'm back in full swing right now. I'm back to training and uh, getting ready for my next fight, which is on October 17th. Yeah, we heard and it was confirmed that you're going to fight Norma Gomero. How's that yes. sound? Pardon? How does the Numa Gomedo sound to you? It's a oh, new opponent. Sound? Um, yeah, no, it's funny, man. He's got that. Uh, he's got that last name, and um, mm -hmm. you know, to be honest, I don't even know if he's related because I read I read somewhere that he is related, and I read somewhere that he's not yes. related. But you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, a fight is a fight. Everyone's human. A man is a man. You know, it's like Rocky Four. Yeah. Everybody bleeds. You know, so um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just excited, man. I'm not I'm not worried. I'm not hyped up about the name or anything. Um, it's just another fight. And I'm excited to to show show my skills and uh, test myself yeah. against the best in the UFC. All right. Mark, just a little bit of background. Um, it has been how many years since your first pro fight again? I turned professional. Um, in 2009 so it's yeah. been 11 years same, yeah, the same. oh really yes interesting You're, interesting you had cool. your first profile in 2009 yes so this is gonna be a really one of the great fights in the ufc fight night 180 nice nice yeah no we've got we both uh i guess we both got a decade of experience and mm -hmm. and that's just turning and that's just as a professional fighter you know we've both been training for a long time i'm sure he has and uh yeah this is going to be an explosive action-packed fight for sure all right mark um just a little bit can you tell us about just a little bit about the journey to the ufc yeah so um i i was in baguio during the quarantine i was with my family um i do my training in manila but i stay in baguio because my family is there and you know, I was training every day in Baguio because I just like to stay fit and I always stay ready and fitness, you know, it's, it's my lifestyle. So I was training on my own, staying fit. And then I got a call from from uh, my head coach, George Castro, and he told me that uh, my management, Ruby Sports, told me that if I could make it to Las Vegas uh, from the Philippines, that there would be a very high chance that I could get a UFC fight. So, of course, I, you know, I had to jump on the opportunity. So getting to Las Vegas was very tricky, actually, because there were a lot of travel restrictions. I couldn't mm -hmm. board my first flight because um, there, a new rule came up that I needed a COVID test upon entering uh, Korea. And um, okay. yeah, you can see all this on my YouTube channel, actually, uh, on Mark Mugen. I documented the whole yes, thing. Which was super, thank you, thank you. Which was super crazy just to, to get here. You know, and I had to rebook my flights, everything. And then once I got here, um, I started training at Syndicate MMA, which it's a great MMA gym out here. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, great training partners and uh, head coach John Wood has been good, has been great. And um, after 10 days of training here, I got offered a, ten, uh, a UFC fight on 10 more days notice. So it was kind of like oh. right into the mix. But of course, you know, I was I jumped at the opportunity again. And on the week of the fight, three days before the fight, um, on Wednesday, the fight was on Saturday. On Wednesday, I tested positive for uh, coronavirus. And they did one more test just to make sure. And that one came also in positive. And uh, yeah, I was pulled off the fight card. And then I, I had to quarant home quarantine. Um, the UFC Medical, they, they kept in touch and they, they checked up on me regularly. So thank you for that. And uh, 
yeah, I just stayed home and I got I got all the symptoms actually. I I was I'm not asymptomatic. I wasn't asymptomatic, so I went through all the symptoms uh, while I was at home. And um, after about 10 days, they disappeared. And then I got back into training. Well, I tested negative first, and then I jumped back into training. And wow. then, yeah, and then after training, I got this uh, this quick turnaround, this this uh, next fight offer, and uh, yes. here we are now. So honestly, it's uh, it's been it's been a journey. It's been it's been a crazy roller coaster ride. And uh, mm-hmm. my wife's actually pregnant right now with our, our second child. So. It was a little yes, tough to yes, leave Baguio, yes. but at the same time, you know, it was, uh, thank you. At the same time, it was, um, it was a no brainer. You know, this is, uh, a huge opportunity and I, I had to take it and, uh, here we are now and I'm glad I did. So super excited. Oh, okay. yeah, we are all excited. I hope, and I know that the whole Filipino community is excited as well. Uh, Mark, how about the preparation? Can you tell us a little bit? Maybe not the game plan, but just a little bit of the preparation back then. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I have a whole uh, new team that I've been working out, uh, working out with mm-hmm. out here, and they're 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 great, you know. And um, we we train every day, pro training uh, at eleven thirty a.m., eleven thirty to one, and then we come in and train at night again. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, wrestling, pro training, MMA work. Um, I've also been going to the UFC Performance Institute, which is uh, mm-hmm. it's a facility that is uh, that was built for the UFC fighters that they can take advantage of and yeah. use when they're in in Las Vegas. So uh, we call it the UFC PI, and uh, the Performance Institute has a lot of uh, great world class equipment. Um, you know, cryotherapy for muscle recovery. They have some some heat body scan thing too, which I haven't used yet. I don't even know what it is, but I know that's also for recovery. Um, all sorts mm-hmm. of crazy, crazy equipment that you could use and are at um, at our disposal if, if we want to use them as UFC fighters. So I've been going over there um, and using that facility as well. So I've, I've, been, I've really been fortunate to get uh, good training while I'm out here. All right, Mark. Did your team fly in with you to Vegas, or it's just you? Just me. I, I flew by myself. Um, the problem right now, oh, I yeah. think, with the yeah, with the COVID situation, you know, um, uh, my head coach back home, George Castro, you know, he uh, mm-hmm. he has a U.S. passport, and I think that if he leaves the country with his passport in the COVID situation, I don't think he'll be allowed to come back in. Come back, yes. So yeah, so. So um, thankfully, of course, uh, thankfully, I have a Philippine passport and a U.S. passport, so I'll, I'll be allowed to re-enter the country um, after this fight. Yes. But uh, yeah, because of that, I did fly out uh, by myself uh, here to Las Vegas. So there's a new team behind you for this UFC fight night. Yes, yes, yeah. I've been working with, uh, yeah, it's, there's a great coaching staff over here. Um, head coach John Wood, uh, Mike Pyle. Mm-hmm. Ex UFC fighter, also uh, John Gunderson, who is uh, ex UFC fighter as well, and uh, and just a lot of great guys uh, passing through that I'm able to train with on a regular uh, daily basis. So it's uh, it's been great. All right, Mark. Um, a little bit on your opponent. How do you see Said Nurmagomedov? Yeah, I think he's a tough, scrappy fighter. He's uh, he's a tall, rangy fighter. Um, mm-hmm. he, he throws some crazy stuff, you know, he throws some spinning, uh, kicks yeah. and some wheel kicks and different things, you know, so definitely those are some things that I have to be aware of, um, in the fight, but, um, yeah, you know, I feel I match up, I match up very well with him and, um, you know, I've been in this game for a while and I don't think, uh, he poses or I, I don't see anything that I haven't seen before and, um, yeah, I'm just going to take the fight to him. I'm going to take the fight to him and uh, make it a dog fight. And uh, it's going to be a great fight. Yes, Margie. So um, we're going to come back again at one more session before your fight interview. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Cool, cool. Just not while I'm cutting way uh, too close, please. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay, so I know. I know that right now. So how trouble? Yeah, no worries. No worries. Just kidding. Not yet. 
this is a little bit far away yet, so I, I know it's yeah, yeah, no, we still, still got time. I think Very we have, what are we at right now? I think it's the eleventh today over here, so I think yes. we're around five weeks out, so we, we got time. Yeah, well, you got time. It's obviously the you know, you don't look like they're cutting weight yet. I don't look? Yes, you don't look like cutting weight yet. That, that's I don't, normal. Yeah, 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 that's true. That is true. I still got a fleshy face. I'm still yes. a little puffy, so that's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I know you're still eating steaks and pastas out there. I'm eating steaks and pastas? I wish. I wish I was eating steaks and pastas. I did, really? I did go no. to five... I did go to Five Guys Burgers and In and Out a few times, which was very enjoyable. Um, those are some of the best uh, burgers in the world, I believe. And uh, how about pizza? Yeah. Pardon? How about pizza? Pizza. Unfortunately, I haven't had pizza. You know, I guess that's. Uh, I guess I didn't eat pizza yet because it's a little. It'll make me feel a little too guilty. Like that's just cheese overload and oil and and crust. Know, you know, I'm like know. you know, I'm in training camp. I probably shouldn't. Although although an In-N-Out burger and a Five Guys burger, they're probably not that much healthier for you. They're probably about the same amount of calories. Uh, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I haven't had pizza yet, but um, I have had some burgers. And the food out here in Vegas is, yeah. is absolutely amazing. Um, the funny yeah. thing with the burgers is that. Mm -hmm. I ordered Five Guys Burgers for the very first time when I was uh, at home in quarantine, when I had COVID. I ordered it by okay. uh, Uber Eats. And um, they have a good system. They drop it off on your door. And then I just come out and I pick it up when the guy's gone. So uh, I ordered Five Guys Burgers because I heard about it for so long. And I heard it's the juiciest, most amazing burger. And, it, and it's on par with Shake Shack and In-N-Out. And I was so excited to try it. And... It, it arrives at the door. I go up to my room, staying in my room, quarantined in my room. I open it. It looks so juicy. I can see the cheese just melting over the patties. The bun is uh, soaking up all the juice. I bite into it, and I can't taste anything because, well, I have COVID, oh, and my taste buds are gone. Oh. <laughs> so my taste was gone, and my smell was gone. So I didn't really enjoy uh, Five Guys, unfortunately. Oh, but uh yeah, it's all good. It's okay. I'll uh, I'll have to you reorder it again sometime. Yes, yes. Well, you still have time before cut weight. You can do it now. No, no, I really shouldn't. That's not gonna. Well, maybe it's Friday night. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. No, You're a bad no, influence. No mother. cheat days in Vegas. <laughs> no, there is no there cheat is days in time. Vegas. You can be yeah, Mark, all right. So it's uh, just a little bit of shout out to your fans and Filipino supporters. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, thank you so much, guys, uh, for all of the support. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a roller coaster journey to get here. And uh, just uh, seeing the support online, especially when I had COVID, it really means a lot. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go all out on October 17th and uh, get that W. So thank you, everyone uh, back home. And, uh, yeah, you guys can follow my journey uh, on Instagram and on YouTube. I've been documenting everything from Baguio to Manila to Las Vegas, and uh, we'll be documenting everything to Abu Dhabi for this fight. So you can check that out on YouTube and Instagram. That's uh, Mark Mugen. Mugen, my nickname. So Mark Mugen, you can check me out on social media. Thank you so much, guys. All right, bye. Uh, thank thank you, you, Mark, for this interview. We're going to have one more interview just before your fight. Cool, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I know that you are ready for training, just a minute away from your training. So, yeah, yeah. Thanks, I, got, I got wrestling practice Love right now. So got to go. Thank you, guys. God bless. Take care. Thanks. Take care, Mark. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Mark Striegel does not really change. He's been that way for like a decade when he arrived here in the Cordilleras and he's been that way ever since. So guys, we're going to have one more interview with Mark next time because um, he's going to his training right now. Thank you guys for those who have been with us in this live interview, very first live interview here at Fights and Highlights. Oh, my son is joining me here in the screen. See you guys.